at the Surfside condo taken by a contractor only 36 hours before it collapsed. CNN has not uh, has uh, uh, has independently reached out about the report, and a spokesperson for the Champlain Towers South Condo Association declined to comment. But let's talk with one of the reporters who actually broke the story. Sarah Blasky is joining us right now on the phone. Uh, Sarah, so tell us about uh, what uh, this pool contractor was stunned by seeing on the site here. What exactly did he, did he tell you? The way the contractor describes the situation is when he first entered the building, it looked fine. The pool area looked fine. The upper lobby looked fine. And then he walked into the basement and he saw a bunch of standing water. This is the basement garage under the pool deck. He saw a bunch of standing water and then entered the pool equipment room where he saw cracks in the concrete, um, everything that was just described, that um, rebar, uh, degraded concrete and thought, wow, why haven't they maintained this building better? Um, and, and he took a picture of that concrete to send to his boss because he was there to do a little bit of cosmetic stuff to the pool. But he thought, wow, this is going to be a bigger job, took a picture, sent it to his boss, and that's the picture, one of them that you're seeing here that we, we published just a couple of hours ago. It's really such a graphic and devastating picture, uh, Sarah. Uh, the issues uh, that he found just days uh, before uh, the collapse of this building actually mirrored the warning that uh, was concluded back in 2018 in that report, right? Well, actually, what I understand from experts is that these photos may even be worse than the photos or what was described in the 2018 report. But there's an important caveat here. These photos are taken in the equipment room, which is on the south side of the basement structure. What what caved was actually on the north side. The building came down on the north side. And so the part where you see these photos is not immediately in the collapse zone. It's unclear if they would have contributed to the collapse. Um, we understand that they could have the way that the building is shaped. However, they did not collapse in the same way. Still, experts are telling us if other parts of the building or other parts of the structure down there looked the same way as those photos in the pool equipment room, then certainly that could have co um, contributed to that collapse. Is, is the fear, Sarah, that these issues were pervasive, uh, perhaps in other parts of the building as well? That is the fear. If it's by severe structural damage or severe damage to the structural slabs, which is the phrase that was used in that 2018 report. If by that, the, the, the engineer meant something like what we saw in this picture today, then certainly that kind of damage under the pool deck, which is closer to that north or northern side of the building, that could have contributed to the collapse. And the fear is that, that maybe that's what's going on. It is still unclear, however, and it's important to note that chemicals from the pool can make that degradation of the concrete and the rebar worse. And so it is possible that this was an isolated, um, really bad situation um, and that maybe the other rebar wasn't as bad. We just don't know yet.